So here I was again in uh, late 2019, and I could only see one computer on my network again, uh, just like before. So I decided, like my other videos, is to go and investigate and see what I can do about fixing it again uh, for 2020. So first I'm going to take you a little tour of my network and how it's set up and what I have. So I have my home router, of course, and it handles both wired and wireless. Now this is my latest home version, my actual version that I use every day. Uh, it's got the latest update for the general public. That's the November 2019 update. And then next I have my regular Windows PC that I use for insiders. That's the advanced version of Windows that hasn't been released to the public yet. And so that's my main uh, PC for testing that. And next I have my uh, Lenovo, my laptop, uh, that's running a little bit older version of insiders, but it's for me to test uh, insiders on a laptop. Now next we have my wife's uh, laptop which is running an earlier version before 2019, uh, November 2019 update. So it's a slightly older version of Windows. So lastly then I have a tablet which is really old. It's an old small small tablet with very little memory that can not get upgraded because it's so old and it's a, a late version, a late 2018 version of Windows. So besides the different types of windows I have installed on various platforms, they're also connected differently. The two desktops are connected via wired uh, to the router, so they plug into the back of the router, uh, giving me high-speed access. The laptops, the, uh, both the laptops are wireless uh, connection, and even the tablet is a wireless connection. So this gives me a pretty good picture of the different types of versions of windows and how they're connected to see how they affect uh, the networking and how they show up on the network. Now fortunately to reset the computers they all use the same thing, uh, same procedure in order to reset the network so they would show up. You just go down here and you type in services and you'll see services come up and you get a list of it and it should be alphabetized uh, by name. We're going to scroll down until we see Function Discovery Resource Publication. Now, if you follow my other videos, you enabled this. And uh, you can have this on automatic trigger start. As long as it's set for some sort of automatic, you're good to go. Same with the one above it, the Function Discovery Provider Host. But on this time, we're going to go ahead and look at it. And we're going to go ahead and click on it while we're watching. So let's go ahead and uh, it's already running, but it doesn't care. We're going to right click on it. We're going to say restart. Okay, so we hit restart. We're going to watch it. It's restarted on the same computer that we're looking to find other computers. We haven't reset it on other computers yet. We're just simply resetting this one. You may have to do this on one or both in order to be able to see them on each system screen. There it is. Bob Web 10 showed up and we can now see it. Now if it doesn't come up, you may have to go to that other computer and run the same restart for order for it to be able to share its files. Once you have that working on both systems, you should be good to go. So I fired up my, my Lenovo laptop, Geek Lenovo, and it came up fine. As a matter of fact, as soon as it booted up and everything, it appeared here on the network. And sure enough, I could see those other computers on it as well. So it was working correctly, but just in case it doesn't, you still have to go in here and reset it on that computer uh, to make sure it's working correctly. Now a side note here, if you have these showing up or whether or not they're showing up, if they're not showing up, doesn't mean you can't use the resources. Those links are still there, whether or not. A good way to uh, see that is over here on my uh, Explorer, I have some links to uh, different places on my network. It doesn't matter if they show up there. Which, what's important is that do the shares still work? And if we click on one of these uh, places here, let's click on uh, well, let's click on the development, which is on my Bob uh, Win 10 system. I can still see the files and use those files. Sharing still works. Okay, moving on now. I have my old tablet. I'm going to fire up. So I fired up my old tablet, and it didn't work. So I had to reset the uh, settings, and boom. There it is. Now first, by the way, it's not in alphabetical order. You see that these are all in alphabetical. Uh, tablet is not. But if you refresh it, uh, it'll eventually come in uh, alphabetically on your network. So now we're going to go to my one last uh, system we have here. 
I went downstairs and turned on my uh, wife's laptop and sure enough after a few seconds it appeared on the network just fine so everything's working fine and I checked each system to see if I could see all the other ones from that system so there you have it how to uh, check your systems to make sure that you can share your files or find your other computers on the network remember to do this on each and every one of them if it's not showing up hey if you found this video helpful don't forget to like this video and if you want to get more just subscribe to old guy geek you can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter the links to those are in the description of this video.